Join me in giving a warm welcome to EMS. Industry that's already been established and it's been there for a really long time. And fintech in its infancy, which is disrupting the financial institutions, that's something I can grow with. So that's pretty much why I'm in the fintech industry now. So that's enough about me. Um, let me ask you all a question. Here we have a wallet, but eventually, well, it's not a question, but we're not going to need it anymore, right, Blan? Right. Right. Eventually. If there is stuff in there, but eventually we're not going to need it anymore. But what goes inside a wallet, right? We have money, your license, ID, some of us uh, green card, hopefully uh, your citizenship. Um, but besides that, you have your, your business cards, credit card, debit card, bank cards, and whatnot. I don't, but if I do, they agree that I do. And then the transaction continues. Um, free from government oversight. I was supposed to have an asterisk there, but it's not there now, because free from government oversight to a certain extent. I mean, the government now wants to regulate cryptocurrency and uh, some of the companies that use cryptocurrency. And that's for our own safety from the SEC, which is a Securities and Exchange Commission. And the reason they do that is because you don't want to get scammed by some fake company that has a coin that you want to use or you want to invest in. We used to barter for things. Barter means that we would trade things. Before we had currency, we would barter for things. What did we barter for? Time, service, food, cattle, crops, and then we began to use precious metals. You can't carry around chunks of gold everywhere, so we created coins that represent a value. After that, paper money, which took a long time for everyone to adopt. But what comes after paper money? Do you think we're going to continue to print money forever? No. We're going to go electronic. It's going to be electric digital money. All right, so it's controlled by the people who operate these nodes. It's not controlled by the government. Imagine a few people playing cards, and they're surrounded by a few people that are watching them and recording everything on a notepad, right? So they're writing down whether this hand was played and this person won, that person lost, this person gave money, that person gained money. They write all of this down. Smart contracts are digital contracts that help you trade anything in value in a transparent, conflict-free way without the need of a middleman. This value is greater than that, and then this balance is greater than that, then this will happen, that'll happen, and then the nodes will agree upon it if the pre-existing conditions are met. All right, we have to understand how important that actually is. It's transparent, conflict-free, without the need of a middleman, okay? Banks are the biggest middlemen. And there are so many companies out there that are middlemen. And if we can eliminate that, what happens? Transaction fees go down, right? You eliminate the need for um, human mistake. You save time, costs, uh, all sorts of things. So this is trackable and it's immutable, which means it can't be changed. So a smart contract, once it's out, it's out. It can't be changed. You can't argue about things later. Right? So it, it does take some preparation. Learn more. You have to do, you have to learn business acumen, which is learning about your industry, learning about your company and how things work, realizing the competition of your company and realizing how they work. But now what does all this come down to? It's something some people call the FinTech revolution. Now the reason why tech companies bring disruption to the world and they're able to just interfere in, in this industry is because they have daily existing touch points with customers like us. We buy all our daily necessities and our non-necessities from them all the time. Because the war for talent is going to get ugly. It's getting worse. Much, much, much more worse. If this presentation was on the blockchain and with something called a smart contract I'm going to introduce you to later, I couldn't lie like this because the computers and the nodes wouldn't agree with what I'm doing. And it, it's a pre-existing condition that I have to fulfill. So the blockchain would have been useful for this game. All right. Uh, so it's you guys versus me. Uh, can I go first or do you guys want to go first? You can take one or two. We'll go first. You want to go first? Go ahead. What do you guys want to do? One. Which color? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take one. Now go. You can take one or two.
is mimic. Am I? Mimic him. Take two. How many is two? Twelve. Count the card. Basically. Take two. Take two. I don't want to be the reason to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Here you guys go. Enjoy. Um, did you wash it? I did wash it. I wasn't going to, but uh, I, I felt his bad. Hands, uh, it. I, come on, my hands are clean. All right, so you guys lost. Enjoy your chili. Um, <laughs> oh, don't eat it. <laughs> yeah, we got some men here. Uh, All right, let's take so, a pass. Go ahead, have a seat. Um, it's yeah. not even hot. He's lying about that too. Can we use the chocolate? We'll see when you cry. All right. Hey, hey, there's still chili here. All right. So what happened? Now, basically, it was kind of unfair because I used an algorithm in order to win. Haroon, they go first, is it hot? I have to capitalize on a mistake no. that they make. <coughs> <coughs> How are you feeling right now? How it turns out it's a little hot. I got stuck in my throat. Turns out it was a little harder than you expected, huh? I'm being a man about it. Yep. This is what real men do. I dig a man. Oh uh, yeah. Dude, it's stuck in my throat. Are we done? Yeah. Thank you for coming.